Hey, what's going on, everybody? Here to do a comment reply video. Uh, untapped potential uh, wrote, I love this to my, and that's how I feel today video. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Uh, dialectic truth, uh, put a smiley face. Thank you. Dialectic, uh, dialectric. Uh, sold it. Uh, Theoria Apophsis says that a lot. It must be one of his uh, side channels or something. Dialectic, dialectic truth. Uh, Soul Beings wrote, laugh my fucking ass off, a man after my own heart. Thank you, Soul. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Vansen wrote, uh, from 2010 to 2021, I couldn't agree more. I don't know what I said at that moment, but they couldn't agree more. <laughs> uh, Dread Pirate Eleni wrote, subscribe. Thank you, Dread Pirate. Welcome to the family of fucking uh, <laughs> truthers uh, exposing the Dookie Boy realm. Uh, Carney Barbie wrote, can you tell us what the other channels you mentioned are, please? I uh, love your channels. Uh, Carney, just go to my channel and then go to my, the channels I'm subscribed to. Uh, but the main, I would say the main channels I watch for like uh, entertainment, I guess you could say, would be like, um, well, now I actually, let's say in like the last few months, just like tiktok compilation videos but uh before that i would say like martin lee gay autodidactic uh john levi all three are sort of mud flood uh history explorers um alternate history tartaria uh but i'd say for truth the main channel i go to now would be eric dubay uh, it's the only other channel where i watch and may, might learn something he's willing to delve into the same topics i talk about uh, Liberation from the Matrix wrote, the genius of the evil turds of this place is they put sleeping spirits against sleeping spirits, and even one that start to wake up is still caught in the game to some extent. And let's not talk about NPCs. They're here to create division, hence why humanity won't come together and why nobody is able to destroy this Matrix. Then all sold human beings need to come together. And then how would we know that they were all sold? How would we know that the people in that group aren't NPCs that just decided to join this sold group? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, is there an NPC test? Uh, maybe if we destroy the matrix enough or become aware of it enough, uh, they will start to reveal themselves or like, uh, 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 like glitch out or something. I don't know. I mean, maybe, <laughs> yeah, who knows, man? Uh, so it makes all this so interesting to me. I love pondering this kind of shit because who knows? Not because who knows, because that's also infuriating. It's like, I would really like to know. You know, it's it's kind of sucks studying a subject for 30 years and not coming to a fucking solution with it. But uh, Liberation also wrote, only the end of the current round of the game, and then in quotations, reset, lets you leave if you awoken enough to not go for another round. Of course, that's what i feel i could be wrong and this is truly a training ground for souls or something with god watching us etc i don't know if it's a training ground maybe a torment ground like what are you training in uh what are you training in right now um what are we training in like are we tr training in how to uh struggle how to suffer how to survive what are we learning here and is spirit exactly like physical? Because who's this, who's to say? Because when I talk, when I hear about astral projection or out of body experiences or NDEs, it's sort of different than the physical realm. It's sort of like a spiritual type of realm where things are fluid, nothing solid. So, what could you learn in the solid realm that would be beneficial to you in the fluid realm? Like, I just don't understand. Uh, I think it's just about the experience. Not every experience is good. Like sometimes an experience, like um, uh, a gazelle getting eaten by a lion is not a happy experience. That is an experience though. I've never experienced being eaten by a lion. I've never experienced being a gazelle being eaten by a lion. So maybe God's just like indifferent to suffering, doesn't really give a fuck. It's just about the experience. Uh, that would kind of explain, like this idea that God's this loving guy. It's like, man, where? Trust me, God's not a love. It, if God has love in him, it's only an aspect of him. Uh, it's not the whole of him. This realm is not 100% love and happiness. Where would anybody get that idea anyway? It's like, 
we have a thought in our heart, like there's a, a space in my heart when I think of God and it feels like love. <laughs> a lot of people will say that God is love. Love is God. Uh, I don't know about that. Love is love. Uh, we should focus on love in this realm and loving one another, but we don't. We're too narcissistic and selfish to do that. We're too busy uh, putting another billion dollars in our already multi-billion dollar account to feed into a sort of selfish, narcissistic desire of power and control to give a fuck about that dude sitting on the fucking road that's hungry with his kid with him. You know, we, uh, eh, fuck that guy. He don't matter to me and my family. And that's how humans really are. Like, we talk a good one, but we don't be a good one. Everybody could talk a good one. Everybody's a great virtue signaler. Everybody, it's funny because I'm like the opposite. If somebody ran into me, they'd think I was a, kind of brass man this guy curses too much he's sort of aggressive and negative uh but that is the surface of the onion if you got to know me you know i have a huge heart uh i got nothing but love for most people uh but most people the opposite most people have put on a great show you'll think that they have great etiquette and boy she's she wears such a a four thousand dollar elegant gown and she looks so eloquent and behind closed doors she's a fucking total narcissistic evil piece of shit it's like huh so the evil ones learn to act good uh to put up a front for people and the good ones don't give a fuck to act good they're already good so they come off brash and nasty and negative because <laughs> they're just straightforward or at least in my case uh <clears throat> It's just unfortunate, man. It's like we we were all raised to be good people, but none of us decided to walk that path. Like at least nobody in the realm that has power. Like everybody that has power is just like total narcissist. Just it's about me. Fuck these people. I need more, 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 more money, money, money. Billion, 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 billion. Uh, I just it's like can we focus on humanity even for a sec? Like even all the lies and deception of NASA, and all, like that was all put in place just so you people could deceive and steal. Like, you're all just low-level criminals, uh, narcissistic, demonic, evil, whatever the fuck. You just nasty people, bro. You people are nasty, fucking horrible people. Nobody likes you. Nobody wants you. I hope your souls end up in hell like or just in some purgatory. Like, if this is all one consciousness, what do you think is going to happen to you people ultimately? You did this to the whole of humanity? Like, what are you people going to do when the consciousness of God turns back around and looks and goes, yo, what the fuck's your problem? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen to you people? Uh, anyways, uh, Winston wrote, the bots will always say the dumbest shit. That's life. And go on with their program. Laugh my fucking ass off. Thank you, Chris. Uh, love is so clear and I hear it here. I appreciate you and your videos. Thank you, uh, Winston. I appreciate that. Uh... Brandy MX wrote top video, top videos to my that's how I feel today video. Uh, thank you, Brandy. I, I feel like that. It's funny. Every every video I upload, I, I feel I'm like, this is my best video. <laughs> it's like, dude, you're like, I'm 500 videos in. It's like, I felt that way about my first video, my second video, my 500th video. <clears throat> I don't have 500 videos at the moment, but I'm about 500 videos deep at, the, at this point. Uh, not uploaded, uh, lost to the ether. T Fetch wrote, it's not select start in the God mood uh, anymore, apparently, at least last time I checked. Oh, the fucking, what? What? Oh, well, actually, <clears throat> yeah, select, so well, I, I don't know. I remember it, select start. I don't just rem that. you know, it's funny. Like, if, if actually, if you, you watched me just now, what I was doing was doing, I was back in, not eight nine years old not just doing it in my mind but doing it with my hands because it was more than just remembering it up here i have to do it with my hands up up down down left right left right aba select start like i have to so i don't just have the mental memory i have the fucking physical memory as a matter of fact i use the physical memory to tap into the to remember it. so it's like how do these things change and why is my memory anyway mandela effects are interesting i hope t fetch isn't right about that but Fucking Contra is near and dear to my heart, bro. Like 99 lives. Like, do you, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I remember, I clearly remember when I was a kid, Contra was tough, bro. And I, I mean, it'd be a struggle on that bitch. So to be able to do that and have 99 lives was like casting a fucking magic spell. <laughs> it's like, whoa, like, whoa, dude. Hey, I'm V wrote, 
at 24 minutes exactly i'm so tired of being told i'm negative like wake the fuck up absolutely uh in this reality you go you guys look at this they're they're being emo and they're going you're bad you're negative it's like what the fuck <laughs> okay okay i thought i was shining a light on the bad and negative but I guess I'm bad and negative for bringing it up. Let's all go back to being little fucking bitches and talk about something more flowery. Ooh, guys, I love you and I forgive all my enemies. Fuck my enemies. Give a fuck about them. They could all burn in fucking hell. Hey, I'm V wrote, thank goodness for smart slash aware people. Thank you. Hey, I'm V. I appreciate that. Uh, hey, I'm V also commented 1940. Never changed Chris laughing face. I don't know what I was saying in 1940, but I'm glad it made you happy, love. Uh, T. Fetch wrote, <clears throat> Mark Passio goes into natural law and the fact that people slash leaders don't follow natural law, making this a hell realm. Granted, he is a Glober, etc. Oh, God. But I'm in the camp of, in, I'm in your camp in terms of this. There was a space is in a weird place. I'm in your camp in terms of this. The fact that this place even has the option of being bad or free will or whatever people that shit is fucked up. Uh, I'm not for becoming a robot, <clears throat> but I can see some merits. Uh, this is kind of you. I, I don't really know who Mark Passio is. I, is he, he's a dude that always had like a tan hat on with sunglasses. Wasn't he like a, a, I thought he was a flat earther, but he's a globe. I, I don't know anything about this dude, but, um, Granted, he's like, oh, I'm in your camp in terms of this. In my camp in terms of what? Oh, flat earth or whatever. Uh, I'm Again, I'm in an I don't know what the fuck it is, earther. When I observe the evidence or information that I'm given by both camps, I kind of come out more of a flat earther, but I'm still in I don't know because, like, I still don't know. <laughs> I, I got to be brutally honest. Like, I'm, I can come off strong and egotistical. Like, I stand by these. They're my beliefs or whatever. Uh, but if we really, if it comes down to a court of law, I can't say I know none of this shit for a hundred percent. It's all fucking, well, anyways, uh, the fact that this place even has the option of being bad or free will or whatever. Well, it's like, um, yeah. Why does being bad exist in the realm? And some dodo bird's going to say, you must be bad to learn how to be good. It's like, gee, can you people shut the fuck up with that dumb shit? Like, man, some some bald-headed monk in 1982 said some line somewhere, and it just stuck to the consciousness of everyone. They just always tried to, like, uh, <laughs> uh, explain away shit that's obviously fucking bad or negative. It's like, oh, you go through the suffering to appreciate the It's like, no, I don't. Um... And I'm in a human avatar thing that never appreciates the good. Maybe in the moment, in the present moment, but then it's gone. It's fleeting. Good's like, phew. it's funny because you, you can be in a 20 year relationship and it, it falls apart in the end. You guys end up hating each other. You walk away with the hate. You walk away with the hate. You walk away with the memory of the breakup. You don't go, well, but for 20 years, we were happy. We, we were hugging, we were cuddling, we were loving, we were, everything was beautiful. Uh, it just got bad the last year. I'm going to focus on the 19 years of goodness. We don't do that. We we're in a pre-programmed avatar, and you have to become some goddamn monk or something and alter your pre-scripted behavior, alter it, which is nearly impossible to do, uh, to become a better person and think more. You know, focus on positivity. But you basically have to like fake it and and pretend <laughs> like. Uh, be, be, and at least in my case, I'm not, I've learned to appreciate things, uh, but not appreciative by nature. At least in my case, I, again, uh, uh, I'll have a relationship four years. Everything's beautiful, broke up, but I, I just remember the breakup and how it's like, I don't remember the, I don't sit there and think about all the great times we had, but we're just, I'm not built that way. I don't know. I, I assume others, humans are also this way just by looking at the rates of depression and suicide rates, to be honest with you, that, that alone tells me people are also sort of focused on negativity. If they were focused on positivity, it wouldn't be blowing their fucking brains out. But uh, Bronze Adonis wrote, there's definitely weird stuff like your shower experience going on the other day. Some old 
a pristine, shiny 1950s car in gray I had never seen came past me. Then two minutes later came past me again on the same road, same direction. I thought that there was man and woman in it. And then the same man and woman too. And I've had that before with a guy who cycled past me twice the same way with no turns. I think this just recently happened to me too. Something almost exactly like this. It was a pretty rare uh, car, like a 1950s type of car, like one of them goofy looking mafia cars. Uh, why am I visualizing this so strong? Like I experienced this same thing, I think. Uh, like a gray fucking 1950s fucking car that went past and then went past again with like uh, wide tires or whatever on it. it. had wide tires, if I'm remembering correctly. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, that, that that creeps me out. Actually, uh, a movie my brother Tom rented when I was a kid and uh, called In the Mouth of Madness. There's a scene where this fucking... I don't know why that disturbed me so much as a kid. That scene, just the way he looked with his hair, but there was like a dude riding a bike past the lady as they were driving into this weird, like, weird book town. I, I can't even explain it, but the dude that was writing these books was like manifesting it all. And they were driving into his like manifested creepy town. It was, it was a weird, I love that movie. A lot of people hate that movie. I, I thought it was great, but she drives past him. He rides his bike past her. It may have even been three times, but she ends up hit. Well, it's just, but that scene always creeped me out. So I like, I'll see something go past. I see it go past the second time, dude. Puts that eerie fucking creepy feeling in me now that, that I got from that demonic fucking movie. I love that movie, but T. Fetch wrote, I've had quite a few weird instances along those lines. Uh, I think he means like just shit that don't make sense, like knocking the sh yeah, body shampoo or whatever down and it never was on the ground, like hearing the bang and everything. Hey, I'm V wrote, yep, the simulation is definitely ending. I hope so. Uh, it wasn't all that enjoyable while it lasted, unfortunately. Boo-hoo. Crunchy B wrote, this doesn't bring me down. It helps to point out the obvious. Thank you, Crunchy B. That's a compliment. Appreciate that, brother. Uh, John's Journey wrote, the logical people are becoming anti-nautilists. That is why it gets worse and worse. <laughs> uh... I mean, who would, even if you were one of the rich families, let's say, like you were one on the winning team, <laughs> at least they're winning in this uh, moment, maybe not anymore. I, mean, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, how would you enjoy life? Because you're still in a fucking demonic, like you still know your family's evil and fucking pillaging like the rest of humanity. Like, how could you even enjoy your success or whatever? It's like. Y'all are fucking grotesque, ugly people, I bet. Uh, hey, I'm V wrote, now my name is Christy. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. In today's world, it wouldn't surprise anybody either. If I came on here with a wig and my lipstick and fucking all crooked and it's like, yeah, guys, my name's Christina now, bro. People would be like, oh, whatever. Yeah, it'd be completely normal. Uh, hypnosis wrote, Greetings from the Dookie Boy realm. You aren't alone, dude. Thank you, Hypnos. I know I'm not alone. I mean, I got 1,100 subscribers, so I know there's at least a 1,000 people out there that uh, agree with me at least a little bit. Hey, you don't got to agree with everything I say, but to know that there's some folks out there that think the same way I do uh, brings me a little bit of comfort because, honestly, uh, the way that I think, like being super logical is demonized. Like, we're made out to be bad guys. I don't know why I keep taking my glasses off because I can't really see anything without them. <laughs> Um, loner getting stronger replied back to him another day in the dookie boy realm it is <laughs> and then uh, philosophy vids replied back to him dookie boy clan <laughs> dookie boy realm dookie boy clan and then uh, he ended up replying laughing I'm dying uh, Stacy Adams wrote this is such a fucked up place literally laugh out loud it should not be this way I think you are very wise, and I love your videos, by the way. You are also very funny and also empath. Thank you, uh, Stacy. I actually agree with everything and love everything you said just there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, she wrote, the snake in the bush or garden. Yeah, th you know, Stacy. I thought about that, but I didn't want to get too visual with it. But I mean, yeah, it's like that area, you know. It's kind of like a garden in a way, uh, the, the, the tree of life, life, like. What, what do you mean the tree of life? Unless there's a tree made out of like meat. I, I mentioned this too. Like I remember 
having a meditation where I seen like a tree made out of flesh or whatever, but it was dark and evil looking. Stacy Adams wrote, Adam couldn't resist and neither could she. Curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back over and over again. Uh, Adam couldn't, I don't really understand. Adam couldn't resist and neither could she. Curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back over and over again. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying with the uh, Adam and Eve. Yeah. Uh, Stacy Adams wrote, the snake, the nakedness is what changed to procreate. Oh yeah, the snake. Yeah, I didn't put that in. The snake, you know, it uh, tricked Eve, uh, deceived Eve and told her we could be like gods too. Did the pecker have a voice of its own? What was it saying? The snake in the garden eating from the tree of life. Again, and then they felt naked and ashamed. And then he told them and scolded them. You're going to have birthing pains. But the man's going to slave from his sweat, from his brow for his days and all this shit. Like, oh, so you're telling them they're about to have a kid. She's going to go into birthing pains and suffer and blah, blah, blah. And he's going to have to work his ass off to support the little motherfucker. So I guess God was telling the truth. It's like, you guys wanted to eat from that tree. Like, I told you not to fucking do it. God was the first anti nihilist <laughs> He told you, he's like, guys. Don't create more fucking meat monkeys. You're going to suffer. <laughs> Anyways, Stacey Adams wrote, um, you are correct. That is the serpent. Oh, I'm sorry. I never finished the previous one. The snake, the nakedness is what changed. To procreate is speaking of professing. We didn't need sex for children. Everlasting life. You are correct. That that is the serpent. Uh I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm correct. You know, I, I, I can never know if I'm correct. Like, and that's why I just, it just, I hate that about this reality. Like there is no truth. There's just always a bunch of, <clears throat> and again, if you look at the list of 10 uh, things with this idea, the list of 10 different facts that go with it, and you decipher all of them. And at the end of 10, you go, well, nine say it's this. And only one says this. I tend to lean towards the nine. So it's like sort of a, Basically deciphering out all the fucking shit I know is wrong and stick it to you. But again, I still never walk away with the truth. I would always just come to a conclusion and think I'm my crazy because nobody else comes to these conclusions except a small handful of people on here and maybe in reality somewhere. Uh, Stacy Adams wrote, maybe you are an earth angel, angelic intelligence versus artificial intelligence. Uh, I don't know if I'm an angel, but I do know that I fight demons on a daily basis. Um, and it's sort of a uh, thought war or a, uh, I have demons, we'll say. I fight them on a daily basis. Uh, well, not fight. Okay. Here's how I feel about demons now. And uh, it's like an unhealthy relationship that you learn from to a degree. It's like an unhealthy relationship you can learn from. You can kill your demons, just go sit by the fucking water and, repeat mantras back to yourself that are positive. They, they don't like hearing shit like that for some reason. They're not positive creatures. They don't like positivity. They don't want to be around you when you're holding a baby or laughing. They don't want to be around you when you're listening to like uh, beautiful music, we'll say Gnostic chants or something. Uh, one sec, guys. Don't worry, guys. That was only distraction number 17 for this video. But anyways, so uh, yeah, they're uh, okay. Demons demons are totally evil demonic little fucking low level they will they can devour your soul they can alter you change you make you uh more dense they can lower your state of being uh they can just a demon can destroy you demons can destroy humans lives um if you're conscientious of them if you're aware of them you hold dominion over them they sort of become an intelligence that you can tap into sometimes like an annoying fly or net but um be very careful uh they can destroy you they can make you believe things that you don't even believe like to the point that you literally have to start questioning every one of your own thoughts um so demons are very powerful be careful but if you learn to play their little fucking stupid games they, they have no power over you because they're just because what they truly boil down to as strong as they are and as much as they can affect people's lives and they'll even start to get you to believe you're evil and i mean they can do all kinds of weird shit um 
but they really boil down to an intrusive thought. You demons are powerful, you aren't you? But when people are aware of you, you ain't shit. You're literally just an intrusive thought. Pathetic fucking low level parasites. Anyways, um, uh, is really toasty here. Wrote angels are nasty creatures. This guy is someone better than them. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. That was that was that was, fun. <laughs> that was a, a funny comment and a great compliment. A great compliment at the same time. Thank you. It's, it's really toasty here. And then Stacey Adams replied back, how many angels have you actually had the pleasure of speaking with, dear? Uh, <laughs> that caught me funny. I don't know. Um, it's uh, <clears throat> Angels is an interesting subject. <clears throat> hey, I'm V wrote, ha, 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 you cracked me up. Thank you, V. Uh, I sort of shoot for comedy. It's just part of my personality. Uh, even though I'm talking about the worst shit possible. Don Miguel wrote, thanks, Christopher. You're welcome, Don. Uh, thank you for coming. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this anyways. Uh, T-Fetch wrote, oh, I just heard those evil little guinea hens, bro. These fucking weird... Yeah, that's them. These weird little duck creatures come around every once in a while, bro, and pack. They're cool. I mean, they're like harmless. They don't do nothing. They eat worms and shit. But they make this god awful fucking noise, man. It sounds like, uh, I don't know, like just the sound on like a chalkboard or like if you slide a wooden chair, it's like, eh. they sound like that. Just, eh, 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 eh. It's just like, oh, God, you fucking, and they'll do it right next to the wind. I mean, they're loud as fuck, too. If they come, they, they might fuck this video up. I'll have to pause it, but. T. Fetch wrote, answers would be nice, not some throw a dart religious scripture from whatever religion the darts land on seriously. Wouldn't it be nice, T, to just to get some sort of clarity in a realm we never asked to be in? Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> like, thank you for giving me a true God communication to let me know exactly what I'm doing here. They're getting close. So <laughs> if you guys hear a weird noise, that's a... Uh, it's not somebody humping on a creaky bed. It's the fucking local guinea hens on the loose. Uh, t Fetch wrote, like, actual guide to pair with Gnosis. I know we are. You know, it's weird, T. Uh, this is what I was thinking the other day. It's like, hey, like God wants to talk about free will. Why does free will only work when it works against me? It only works. Oh, free will is only a good excuse when evil people get a hold of it. And they just can be evil bastards. It's like, well, what about my free will? I'm a good person that does not want to be subjected to a slave realm. So what about my free will? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, <clears throat> excuse me. It's like, I don't have any free will. I'm subjected to a realm I don't agree with. That is the opposite of free will. Free will only works for people that are evil. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. Uh, and, and, if I have free will, I'm demanding with my free will a direct communication with God. Oh, he speaks in emotions and sim. Man, fuck off. We don't talk like that, though. We speak with language. I'm okaying with my free will a direct communication with God through speech. What Telepathic, don't matter. I speak English. If you want to say it in Greek, I might understand it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, but I'm asking for it with my free will. It always gets really quiet after I ask for a communication with him. It always seems to fall on deaf ears. No, 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 God's listening because sometimes something will happen in my life and it shows me he's there. It's like, well, how do you know that you're... you're not God happening now. How do you know that you're not an aspect of God? And because you're wanting that, it worked out. It's not like there's some exterior, external, like I'm saying, you're the piece that manifested that stuff. There's not some external being doing it, listening to you, standing by listening. I think that we, it's so easy to believe that because we are a ghost in a physical machine. It's just like, the, the, the human avatar even has its sort of own physical desires that's sort of different than the spirit we are. It's like, so it's easy for us as participants in a sort of dualistically natured creature anyways. We almost feel present in our own presence. If, 
if negative, this is something Jerry Marzinski says, if the negative thoughts are you, who is it that's listening to them? Logic. We already are, like we we talk about dualists, like we are multi-beings in one already. Like that's why we can relate to all this shit, good and evil and bad. Spirit and physical come together. Uh, I think we're in a soul trap. We're in a soul fucking soul trap, man. Even the realm is a goddamn bubble with, with a literally a fucking canopy roof trap above this bitch. Almost like if the souls go out of our bodies, they, they're trapped in a bowl or something. Like, what is this fucking place? It's just a b bizarre air bubble in the middle of a fucking fr frozen ether thing. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. Anyways, uh, T. Fetch wrote, like, actual guide to parrotnosis. I know we are people that play video games without reading the instructions first, but for someone like this reality, oh, I'm sorry, but for something like this reality, it would be nice. Uh, absolutely. Um, natural law was kept hidden slash non-discussed. Our parents weren't raised properly and their broken NPC asses corrupted us. Yeah. Excuse me, guys. Absolutely, T. Um, they really did. I, I think about this all the time. It's funny you said that. I mean, they really did start from a bad place. Uh, well, my, my mom didn't so much start. She had a, 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 a normal, I mean, they weren't wealthy people. He was a painter. My, my grandfather was a painter. So I'm a second generation American on my mom's side, my dad's side. I'm first generation. He came from Greece. Uh, actually, he came from South Africa after he left, had left Greece, but uh, I'm first generation on his side. So he was completely poor. She, he had nothing. She had a normal family, but, or you could say like average middle class family. Uh, we were super poor. <laughs> but I look at them, man, and like she had it kind of normal growing up. Uh, him, not so much. <laughs> he had a weird fucking childhood. They weren't raised well either. Uh, he wasn't. My father was not raised well. He was raised by a goddamn demon. Uh, and then I was raised by him. So that didn't work out too good either. <laughs> we had, <laughs> but I say, uh, when, I'm, I love statistics because they sort of like don't lie. And uh, if you look at statistics, I'd say I'm doing all right. Like if I looked at how I was brought up and everything, or like some of my brothers, like I say, we turned out pretty decent for for the upbringing we had. Like we should end up in prison, dead, maybe like serial killers ourselves or something with our upbringing. But he wrote, grow up asking why, then get because I said so. That shit doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, that's not a great parental approach. Don't say that to your kids because that uh, sp basically puts on full volume to your kids. I am an idiot. That's what your kids hear. Don't you remember being a kid when your parent would say that to you? When, when your mom or dad or whoever raised you, auntie said some shit and just didn't make sense. It was so illogical. And you said, well, why? And they said, cause I said so. It's like, all I ever heard was because I'm too fucking stupid to explain it to you. <laughs> he wrote the poorer people know less because of the generational curse of not knowing and not teaching. Absolutely. Poor people are trapped in a trap of being poor because they know no better. The, the human avatar can't know something it's never experienced. It's very difficult. I mean, you can go and research and sort of learn that way, but uh, they do what they know. And if all they've ever known is poorness, that's what they do. He wrote, our parents were, oh no, I already read that. Uh, not knowing and not teaching. He wrote, some shit long ago was written down or figured out, but it's kept hidden. Otherwise, why do we, st I'm just so sick of that part. It's kept hidden. It's like, fuck off. I just hate this reality. And it's little, I'm hiding shit from you things. You're, you're all disgusting. Die. He will, otherwise, why do we seek truth and long for it? There has to be some truth other than natural law, right? Yeah, there's truths everywhere. My name's Chris is a truth. Your name, well, I don't want to say your name, but I know your name, but is that... <laughs> But then there's the big questions. No, there is no truth. 
it's always mysterious and being kept hidden. It's like so fucking corny. Just corny. It's like, I'm in a retard reality. Uh, Danielle W. wrote, I love your work, Chris. Thank you, Danielle. That's a great compliment. I think you're one of the best channels around. That's a super great compliment. Thank you. I agree that we are in a simulation. I understand wanting to put on the VR headset and have things be more pleasant, but what if that's just another trick? Well, I'm already in the first trick that I can't escape. So I have to settle with misery or happiness in the shithole realm. I'm going to go with happiness. Um, not that I'm not saying I want to be in a VR. I'm, I say shit to prove points. What I'm saying is the average person, like, I don't know if I would ever play a VR. VR's already been out for like five years. I could have gotten it a long time ago, but I still have never bought one of those and I don't plan on it. But I'm speaking for like the average person. Like, I'm imagine just the average NPC. They're going to do it because life is was made this bad on purpose. And it's just a shitty realm, slave realm. And when you have a choice between a shitty slave realm that never had to be that way, we could try to fix the realm into a symbiotic relationship where humans have abundance and prosperity and peace and no wars and all this stupid shit. Uh, but we're stuck here. I just, I ain't never coming back to this realm. I didn't enjoy the first ride. Why would I want to do it a second time? It's a, it's a fucking hellhole. I sure as hell would not want to curse another soul to this realm. Uh, but, um, they, well, yeah, the average person's going to wear it. The average person is, well, go to Walmart. Are you an American? Go to Walmart and look around, man, at the average people walking around. They're all like just unhealthy, just miserable and depressed people. And if you're a big, sloppy, fat, depressed man or woman, and you can put on a thing and it looks just as real as this, but you're all of a sudden, you're a fucking Brad Pitt or a Julia Roberts, whatever you want to look. You can be a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex for all I know, whatever the fuck you want to be. <laughs> you know, what, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a dinosaur. You know, like you can be anything you want. If your thing is to be a squid swimming around in the fucking ocean, you can be that. People are going to choose VR. Because this realm sucks, but it didn't have to. It's like, you, you just anyway, but you, you guys know how I feel, but I'm sorry, let me uh, read this. Uh, what if it sinks us deeper into the simulation? Uh, it is. If you put on VR, it is sinking you deeper into the simulation. Uh, but Earth is a simulation itself. So this idea that like you're getting deeper into it, it's like, you're already here. Like, th this is simulation number one, in my opinion. But, uh, the idea of going into a simulation within the simulation is not that big of a deal to me, considering we're already in a simulation. This isn't real reality. I mean, I don't think it is, but if you do, okay, if you think this is real reality, then going into VR is the first version of the simulation. But I think that's just, that's all just deception to get us to not think that this reality already is the simulation. It's just all uh, damage control. Uh, anyways, I think, anyway, and I know I'm crazy. I know the way that I think is crazy, but uh, Danielle wrote, or if it's pleasant at first and then turns even more hellish than this place, uh, physically it will have to because if your body, unless your body's in a VR thing and this suit like trains your body while you're in it, you're going to become the most sedent, you're going to become a fucking weak little, uh, uh, like you'll, You'll be in the VR realm for years and you'll take off the helmet and you'll be so skinny and uh, what the hell's the word I'm looking for? Uh, where your muscles just deteriorate completely away. You're like you won't even be able to get out of the fucking the capsule because you'll be all fucking sedentary for the last five years, not moving and shit. Yeah, it's going to get real bad if you plug into a simulation physically in your real body, in quotes, your real body. <laughs> Because this thing's built to torment you if you don't stay busy. You, you start. You want to sit around? You want to just hang out and enjoy life? Well, your bones are going to start hurting. Your blood's going to go still. You're going to become a slug. You're going to start having health issues. You better stay moving in the torture chamber. Uh, or if it's, I'm sorry. Since we obviously can't trust the creator of creators of the simulation, I just want out of all the dreams and all the simulations, which I think are probably the same thing. Uh, 
I want out of all of it too, Danielle. I do want to say this. A lot of people that are so against being in the simulation have already been in one for the last 20, 30 years of their lives. And they just, they're really talking about levels of simulation. Have you been playing video games for the last 20, 30 years? I know I have. What do you think a video game is? It's not reality. You're escaping reality to get into the simulation, aren't you? What do you think shows and 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 movies and anime and uh, whatever else is entertaining, sports, it's, those are all simulations. <laughs> what do you do in your spare time unless you just sit in reality and stare at nature or sit in reality and stare at a wall? You're escaping to a simulation. <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted. Are you on your cell phone all day? <laughs> are you one of those people? <sighs> You're in a simulation. Uh, this whole reality is boring and shitty. That's why people escape to simulations. Uh, but it doesn't have to be this way. It could be a loving... Okay. What if all of humanity came together? There goes all the wars. <laughs> there goes all the suffering, poverty, starvation, uh, wars, conflict, negativity, bullshit, division, segregation, uh, racism, blah, blah. Everybody comes together. We agree we're going to be peaceful. I'm not going to have a religion that tells me to chop your head off. You're not going to have a weird belief that tells you because of the color of my skin, you don't like me automatically without ever fucking getting to know me. Uh, we're just going to get rid of all these stupid low-level grade one elementary school fucking consciousness beliefs and start over as one country or one uh, tribe, one uh, society and um, we're going to take care of each other main priorities are going to be food water and getting people a place to sleep once we have shelter food and water which we could provide in abundance if we choose to live symbiotic with reality instead of against it it's not natural for plants to be fucking planted in rows and uh we need to learn how to live symbiotically. Like we can learn to build a rocket to escape Earth and go to another planet, but we can't learn how to live symbiotic on the planet we're on. Then we're just a disease cancer that's going to spread to another planet. We're a virus ourselves. You people are low-level fucking demons. The people that run this fucking reality are what? What them? Are do y'all have dementia or something? What's wrong with you, psychopaths? I hate all of you. You are nothing like. You're not capable of being like me. You are not capable of being like me. We are opposite energies. I hate you people. Imagine being you. Are you people even, do you even have your souls anymore? Or are you just complete participants to the things, uh, doings, while it's doing shit with your body? Are you just a soulless completely? Like if somebody touches you while you're giving a speech, do you freeze up and turn into a fucking back? Fuck turtle, fuck creepy ass, weirdo ass, fuck boys. I hate all you bitch ass motherfuckers. If I ran into you fucking cowards on the street, I'd break your fucking jaws. Uh, I hate politicians or demons, we'll say. Uh, anyways, I think I had a point to make, but I, I got aggravated thinking about the demons that run this prison system of a reality, uh, this hell realm. <clears throat> uh can't canem claren wrote hey chris great video and wisdom thank you hanan or cana canem canem i'm sorry one sec canem claren uh from my understanding and training it ain't so much sex itself being the issue sexual alchemy is all uplifting good in consciousness awakening the physical orgasm overcharged spasm and discharge slash loss of condensed chi consciousness kundalini is the challenge. So do you think that semen is uh, some sort of special essence that climbs up the spine and goes into the brain and does something? Um, and if it does, does it just give a moment of um, uh, euphoria? I've actually done that before. Once, just one time, experienced euphoria through a meditation, and it was literally like being in heaven. Uh, did I ejaculate into my brain? It's like, what kind of stupid ass fucking experience would make it that difficult to experience happiness? <laughs> like, uh, the body's desire is to ejaculate. Uh, you have a sexual desire. You get the urge to ejaculate. You better find yourself an old lady or w whatever it is you're into, uh, and get going with some or, uh, 
you know, pay your right hand a visit, <laughs> you know, uh, or sit there and just deal with an urge that's annoying until you release it. And you got to hold into this annoying. So you have this body calling for you to do this thing that you can't do. So you're constantly, oh, I'm going to struggle. I'm not going to ejaculate because I want the sperm to go into my brain. And blah, blah, blah. it's like, why the fuck is it this difficult to be happy in this reality? Jesus fucking criminy crickets. Why do I just got to struggle and go through a, a damn no fap or something to have a, a nice, happy experience? What is this stupid shit? Well, anyways, uh, they wrote, is the challenge physical orgasm work to put our inner God into hypnosis with the physical work? What? Physical orgasm work to put our inner God into hypnosis with the physical world? I'm a little confused about that one. Uh, they wrote, alternatively, raising of our sacred sexual waters via sexual alchemy and single person transmutation pranayama is jacob's ladder out of the fallen hell dookie boy realm the three mountains channel here on youtube marks the inner path out of hell what why wouldn't you should have linked me this video okay so the three mountains i'm gonna have to come back to this comment uh uh what so raising our sexual waters so our our sperm oh, me see, probably, um, is Jacob's ladder of the fallen. I don't really know what they're saying. They're saying something about like keeping your sexual energies or using sexual alchemy to get out of hell. I don't know about any of that. Uh, uh, anti nautilist witch wrote, God caused all problems while science works to solve them. <laughs> yeah. Science, science is fucking works to uh i don't think science works to do because they haven't accomplished anything when it comes to, like solving actual bad issues like diseases and cancers and illnesses and blah blah, blah. Uh, again outside of ripping out tumors and fixing aligned bones doctors are pretty much useless outside of being dope dealers uh scientists are retards that make humans not think because they always come out of nowhere with some explanations that people just don't think uh, Crunchy B wrote, you don't need light to have life. There is life in the deepest parts of the ocean where no sunlight reaches because of thermal vents. That's true. Yeah, there's there's life in like every weird, like in the hottest places in the world that are 400 degrees that you'll find like life and blah, blah. So yeah, you don't need the sun for life. Uh, but we do, I guess you could say, right? Do we? I don't know. Maybe we don't either. Maybe if we put up uh, LED lights and just laid under them like a tan bed, we'd get enough. Uh, I don't fucking know. No, no, you don't get vitamin D that way or whatever. Anyways, uh, you, you know what I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck's keeping everything alive. I don't even know why the fuck it's keeping everything alive. <laughs> uh, John's Journey wrote, I'm so bored. Why do I keep waking up? I don't know. <laughs> so you're, you're bored. I don't know, brother, find a hobby. Life is hella boring, especially when you're conscious and you see everything sort of meaningless. Uh, it's very difficult to not be bored in it. Uh, even the things that used to excite you, it's like, that's not exciting anymore. So I don't know how to cure boredness. I'm, I'm actually a complainer. I'm actually a complainer of boredness being one of the aspects of the human avatar that should have never been pre-programmed or pre-scripted into us to experience anyways like proving this to be a suffering realm i can't just chill like i can't just sit there and not experience this fucking awful feeling of boredness what is this fucking torture chamber get up and go do something okay so i have this horrible urge that won't let me just chill called boredom now i gotta do something but then I'm in a monetary reality where I need money to do every fucking thing. So I'm just stuck in a conflicted state with a brain saying, do something, do something. And uh, the other part of my brain going, I can't afford to do nothing, motherfucker. Let's just be happy being bored. And the other side going, no, let's be fucking annoyed being bored. But it's just like this whole reality and the avatar is stupid. It's fucking annoying. It's an annoying experience. Just as a, I almost said high level being. I don't know what I am. I've just become aware of what reality is. Uh, anti nautilus witch wrote oh my god chris i literally had this random thought this morning 
the tree of life was their vile sexual acts, not an apple. Yeah, that I mean, that's the I'm not the one that came up with that. I've heard that that uh, theory a bunch of times. Uh, I think rabbi, uh, there was some Jewish rabbi on YouTube that uh, what the hell's name? Rabbi Friedman, I think. Sometimes I watch, I've seen some of his stuff. He's the one I think that proposed that idea, or I'll say one of the people that proposed it. Uh, she wrote, be fruitful, multiply was a command to expand the garden, not have children. Yep. Be, be fruitful and multiply. <clears throat> uh, but even with that, the story still does not make much sense. God had no reason to create Adam and Eve in the first place. I think that God knew that. So that maybe that's why he told him, like, yo, don't go and procreate. Like, even you're a mistake that shouldn't have happened. But, so don't have kids, please. But they did anyways, because they were, were pre-programmed with this urge to be attracted to the fucking female shape and get horny. Where does the urge to be horny? Oh, we that's an evolution thing so that we could survive. It's like, well, why are we surviving in a fucking experience that's miserable? Well, anyways, but it's like, uh, you know, they were urged to do it obviously and god told them not to do it and they still did it like how the fuck do you explain that what are they just retarded like was there nothing else to do in the garden uh but eat this fruit of fucking life or whatever uh too spicy for the pepper replied back to antonalis which he said in the islamic view god slash allah created the jinn before the humans they ruled earth first and they had free will but they were mostly evil caused war and chaos and so most of them were wiped out then as his new project, he created humans. And in the Quran, he states that he created the jinn and the humans solely to worship him. What a darling God is, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, imagine an entity that wants you to worship it. Period. <laughs> That's creepy in and of itself. Like, like I, I love you all, but get over here and grovel at me like what what do you want me to do you want me to just like sit there and go oh you're such a good god like that's creepy that ain't my god my god would never want me to do something like that <laughs> he would never he would my god would be like get off your fucking knees boy what are you doing like uh i would never oh you're so good and i like what why would you want me to do that you creep you know, talking to God, like, are you a weirdo, bro? Like, you want people to worship? What are you, a fucking creep? Or were you, like, a, a celebrity in your previous life? Like, what are you? Like, what? I just want them to worship me. Fuck off, you're a creep. I'm sorry. anti Nautilus Witch wrote, super loving. Wow. <laughs> Replying back. Uh, is really toasty here, wrote, as far as one guy on BitChute claims, he is a real god who is being messed around with by his mother and brother who claim to be gods, Lilith and Satan, etc. Okay. So, uh, am, Toasty, am I one to say that dude's completely wrong and making up? Oh, one sec, guys. I'm almost out of time on this one. Okay. I can't say for sure that this dude isn't God. Uh, I preach that we all may be aspects of this grotesque creature, but so I can't say for sure that this dude isn't God, but I will say for sure we got to be careful with uh, people that have actual mental disorders. Uh, the guy could be crazy. Uh, looking at statistics, again, there's a high probability that he's on psych meds. There's a high probability that he's depressed. There's a high probability that he's schizophrenic. <laughs> you know, like uh, Dielectric Truth put a happy face. Thank you, Dielectric. Um, T. Fetch wrote, I'd also say going into a simulation to escape this one is letting this dark ass reality and its entities win. Win what? If we're already in a simulation, they've won. So what are they winning by me going into another video game? And again, I do this shit all the time anyways. It's just a level of the simulation. Just because it's on PlayStation or computer doesn't mean I'm not in a simulation like I already said. So we're already are, all are escaping to simulations. Again, what are you doing if you're not? If you're sitting on a boat fishing, to me, you're playing a fishing simulator in the Matrix simulation. <laughs> like, if you're on a Sega Genesis playing Sonic the Hedge, 
pinball sonic pin that game was actually amazing i love that game sonic pinball i played the fuck out of that game but uh you're on a simulation in this simulation in my opinion again we've all been escaping to simulations it was just the first levels of it atari was level one uh, Actually, people would say, like, no, no, it's Turbo Graphics. Or, I don't know what came first. I don't care. You get what I'm saying? It's like levels. It's just the highest level. It's getting close to being just like reality. Maybe when it's just like reality, people will fully understand how and easily understand how this could easily be a matrix. Once they've experienced that one for a couple of years and they unplug and they're like, well, how do I know this is reality? Maybe then humans will be able to literally move objects with their mind i don't know maybe it really is going to be like that lawnmower man type shit like you pay enough time in the simulation maybe you would unplug in reality would you would be able to manipulate objects move things with your mind communicate telepathically heal people with your thoughts uh, that's what i want i want to be able to heal physical and mental ailments with my hands like or just my mind you know what i'm saying just and they're fucking their blindness god that'd be awesome That'd be a good thing, though. We don't do that in this reality. Fuck this reality. Tfetch wrote, you know, there has to be some cost in evil. Uh, I'm sorry. Wait one sec. You know, there has to be some cost in evil peppered into such simulation. Like fighting for the last resources of energy when they finally unplug your consciousness in there. Just so outsiders can watch the Hunger Games bullshit. So the last standing... Gets two minutes of air life expansion before disappearing forever. Anything conjured up in this reality is a hard pass for me. Uh, this Yeah, this reality is a dookie boy realm. Uh, Barry Nelson wrote, love you too, brother. I know you because I know me. My faults are your faults. I love me, so I love you. Thank you, Barry. I appreciate that, brother. I love you too. Uh, PK OSB wrote, your videos are always deep, meaningful, I think the same way you do, yes, this world could be better, but I don't think it can be fixed. Not if it's hell. Perhaps we have to figure out the truth on our own time. The truth will set you free. I totally disagree with this. I actually think it's the opposite. I think the truth enslaves you. Uh, I think ignorance sets you free, but I could be wrong about that. But I feel like the more truth you learn, the more you realize that we're in a sort of prison planet or enslaved in a trapped in a sort of system we don't agree with at least from my perspective uh the truth may enslave you actually uh she wrote free from what being oh okay i should just read the, her comment i'm sorry let me just read the comment because pk is more than likely going to say what i said we always agree she wrote free from what being trapped in an environment that wasn't made for humans that's my opinion a human needs food water shelter clothing so why does a human have to work for these basic needs? Most people give the excuse or he or she is just lazy and doesn't want to work. That's a weird excuse. You could technically say everybody's lazy. Everybody. I don't know too many people that just got to get up and work. Most people are what we would consider lazy. Lazy is just a derogatory term to explain a, a non to explain away a non-conforming bad model citizen shame on you you don't want to get up and do stuff you don't want to do shame on you're lazy what what the fuck why do we create derogatory terms to keep people in a slave system are we idiots yeah we're humans she wrote I, i'm sorry i should just read her let me just it's hard for me to do that pk this is why i struggled in school i just can't focus i just can't focus my mind 10 trillion, my mind don't never shut the fuck up. But there's just, there's too many things to think about. <laughs> there's too many things to think about. At this point, honestly, if you were a mind virus with me trying to feed off me, you would probably get annoyed and leave just because I wouldn't focus on your little stupid fucking thoughts. Uh, my mind's in a thousand places all the time. She wrote, the truth will set you free. Oh, I already read that. She wrote, now, now we know that's not true in every case. What about them? Or if you want to go deeper, what about the innocent children, animals, people that are harmed intentionally every single day on purpose? Oh, God, I love your comments, PK. Oh, God works in mysterious ways. What the fuck? All cop-out answers. Always, always. It's just, 
and and the human psyche like has a limit to how many times you can hear the same bullshit over and over again man i've reached it i just like have no more time for these like excuses away for god all the time it's like always an excuse for he god works in this it's like he works in evil ways and there's nothing mysterious about it i can see it happening what's mysterious he's evil and demonic oh no he just does that because it's mysterious get the f- well, i'm sorry she wrote i can't focus <laughs> i can't i can't do it you know i'm gonna focus on the rest of this comment i'm capable all right, PK wrote, my entire life, I've always known there was something. Can you guys see the reflection in my glasses that I highlighted it just to remind myself to read it? I'm sorry. Let me just focus on this. My entire life, I've always known there was nothing very wrong, or I've always known there was something very wrong with this world. We've been lied to about everything. Why? I never thought so called authority figures would do that. Wow, how I was wrong. I hope your nephew is doing good. I hate to hear about any child going through such a thing. He's, he's fine. He got surgery. This was actually two or three years ago now. He's fine. He's super healthy, strong, super uh, smart. She wrote, and you're right. The doctor saved his life. However, why did he have the tomb? <laughs> where did it come from? <laughs> yeah, why did he have it in the first place? Why are we in a reality where a tumor can grow in our face to begin with? Uh, that's what I ask. I, I'm not reading it. I'm sorry. I'm trying. That's what I ask myself when I see specifics. But remember, problem, reaction, solution. I could go on and on, but I won't do that to you. Laugh out loud. I'd rather laugh than cry. Not saying I don't cry. It's hard not to cry in this reality. It's very sad, morbid, and dark. Unless you're like just stone cold to it and you've completely lost your soul and you're just like this numb fucking entity. Sure, I think you're on the right track. I wasn't at the level. I, I almost became that. I started detaching so much to deal with, to, I'm sorry, to not have to deal with reality that it made me numb. It just started like becoming not human. It's like, yo, fuck that. Being human is what drives me. That's where the love comes from. Uh, she wrote, I think you're on the right track. I wasn't at the level of thinking like you are in your 30s. I just turned 40. Uh, November of last year, I turned 40. I'm not in my 30s anymore, but I still got it, baby. I still got it. And I'll still have it. I'll still have it in my 50s and in my 60s. And not because I inject it in my ass like the rest of these fuck boys, but because that's my mind state. I'm a fucking God. I'm a fucking God. Uh, she wrote, I get upset about this world too. Like you said, it's really not your life that's so bad. Neither is mine, but I can't ignore the suffering that unnecessarily goes on. I wasn't a George Carlin fan, but one thing he said made sense. He said a few things that made sense. I love George Carlin. He, she wrote, if you think there's a solution, you're part of the problem. Absolutely. Uh, life is supposed to be a gift, so why do we have to pay for it? <laughs> I remember him saying that. She wrote, anyways, take care, and you're not alone. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, PK. Uh, you keep me sane, my love. <laughs> like... Uh, yeah, George Carlin was amazing. I love George Carlin. He, well, they called it comedy, but really he was on stage. It was almost like a like an Aaron Russo's Mad as Hell. Like, it wasn't comedy. <laughs> like, it got to the point where it was almost purely political. And like, when are y'all going to wake up? How, how much does the man have to fuck you? Uh, he don't give a fuck about you. When are y'all going to really? George Carlin said a lot of conscious shit, but. I did, I did see one time he was at a book signing and a dude walked up and he was recording him with his cell phone and he said, uh, Mr. Carlin, do you believe 7-Eleven was an inside job? And he was like, are you recording me? And he, the guy was like, yeah. He's like, you have a nice day. He signed his book and just gave it back to him. Like he didn't want to speak on that. So I think George Carlin was conscious and aware Uh I don't think every single person in Hollywood or that's famous has had to get in the club. They had to drink some baby blood. They had to go to some weird party where they fucking prick your finger at the door and get your blood and tell you to put your cell phone in a box. Like, I don't think every single human or 
or a famous or even slightly famous person is a part of the matrix machine. Like I think there are some decent ones. I think George Carlin was one of them. Uh, welcome back. And again, like you could look at, uh, let's say like Joe Rogan or uh, Russell Brand and say, oh, they're definitely a part of the system. You don't know that. You don't know. I don't know that. To me, Russell Brand could very certainly be believing and, and coming from a loving place and fighting for what he believes is right and all that. Oh, he's not on our level. He doesn't talk about simulation or hell realm or like. Why are you guys such? Why are humans such divided creatures? And I, actually, I'm responsible for doing this shit too. But we are. We're so. It's like somebody isn't at this level, and we like hate them for it. It's like they're searching for truth though. Like if they were doing some evil, weird shit, it was like, okay, dismiss them. But if they're a truth seeker, just because they're at level one of truth seeking and not level nine, nine, nine or whatever the fuck, uh, doesn't mean that, Oh, he's a shell or, Oh, he's evil or, Oh, he's a part of this. The matrix. Like, I think Russell Brand's trying to expose the matrix or at least trying to expose lot the lies of the system. And I get it. It's all distraction and it's all a show and it's all the matrix. Maybe he hasn't learned that yet, but I was him at one point too. Weren't you guys? Did you guys come out of the womb? Like whoosh, fucking doctor slapped your ass and you're like, ah, fuck this realm. I remember this. Ah. And the doctor's like, Oh, we got a returning one. Like, no, motherfucker, it took you a minute. You had to see you were being lied to constantly. You had to see something was wrong here. You had to see, like, something woke you up. You didn't just come out. A soul trap. Fucking God Lord of the truth community. Like, whatever you think you are. Like, uh, Carney Barbie wrote, Welcome back, Missy. Thank you, Carney. Okay, that was 11 days ago. I was about to say, didn't I, I already upload a few videos. Uh, T-Fetch wrote, If this is a simulation fucking making the same mistake and going deeper into another promising VR simulation. If you see it as a mistake, uh, I don't know if it's a mistake. I would say if that's the mistake, please tell me what we're supposed to do instead of that. Uh, I love hearing solutions. If you've got a solution in your mind, when you're leaving a comment, please leave it. I would love to read and make comment reply videos with solutions. Uh, if I'm going to say that's a bad idea, I think we should do this instead is where I'm going to go next. Uh, I do think, uh, T, I think humanity should come together. Uh, again, learn to live symbiotic. Uh, all crime would go away. All addiction and suffering would go away within one generation. All crime would go away. Who's going to rob you if there's no such thing as money and all of humanity works for humanity and everything you need is supplied to you by humanity? Who are you going to rob? If there's no such thing as money, you go to the local farm when you need food and pick it off the plants yourself. Who's going to rob you? <laughs> There's still going to be evil people like an abusive mother or father or a, a creep. You know what I'm saying? Like, And uh, I think humanity should deal with those people. Now, again, people say, well, you're, you're putting a situation where somebody could just murder someone. Say, oh, I've seen that guy sniffing a kid and that's why I murdered him. Um that's true. Yeah, there's there's a lot of possible dangers. But are you saying there ain't any in the current system? <laughs> there's ten thousand fold in the current system. Ten thousand fold dangers in the current system. You got to worry about somebody robbing you, stealing from you, breaking in your house when you're not there, breaking in your house while you are there. <laughs> like it's a fucked up reality. You got meth heads walking around, crackheads, weirdos that'll stab you in the. I know. I knew. Bro, I probably associated with crackheads that would kill you for a, a fifty dollars, probably, probably kill you for a ten rock. I okay, I've known, I've been around some grimy ass, fucking nasty, low level ass fucking people. This reality creates them. This reality has way more dangers than any system I could ever create. I don't know. How about war? Can we get rid of that? How about poverty? There's there's the danger of living in poverty. In the, like, can we talk about all the dangers in the current system? It's funny because we do this shit all the time. We don't talk about what we're dealing with. Like, people will say, "Oh, you don't want to farm? That's that's real hard work." It is working uh, sixty to eighty fucking hours a week ain't hard work. What about the current system? Like, you're telling me that to keep me in the current system. I know the slave system and how it works, but you're telling me. Not to grow my own fucking food because you want me to be a slave. Not because it's 
any harder than the current slave system we're in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, back in the day, you had to move around hay and feed the animals and stuff and scoop up shit. Okay, well, nowadays, I've literally got to work from the moment I wake up till the moment I go to sleep. And that ain't enough for me to support myself. I need an old lady also doing the same thing. Uh, this way, the fucking child is raised by the goddamn state, becomes an indoctrinated slave creature because there ain't no parent at home. Because woman's lib wasn't about getting you woman the, the right to vote. It was about turning you into fucking taxpayers, too. That's all it was to destroy the nuclear family. Fucking, we're run by demons. Everything they do is demonic. Uh, Superior Robin wrote, what you, I think I had another point, though, right? but I lost my train of thought. Superior Robin wrote, what you said about Jesus coming back, I would feel the same. Actually, that's what happened in Avatar, the last airbender. When the Avatar returned, people were mad at him for disappearing. Uh, I would just say, if Jesus returned and killed all the bad people in reality, uh, actually, at this point, the way I talk about Jesus, he may see me as a bad person kill me too. But at this point, it's like, then fuck you. You put me in a suffering realm and then killed me because I found out it was a suffering realm and seen you as a demonic lord of it? You're a fucking evil motherfucker. You always were. You're looking for people to worship you and people to punish for not? You're a weird creep. But anyways, the idea of God, Jesus, like, if Jesus was a dude the way he was in the Bible, like, I agree with most of his philosophies, his ideas, whatever. I can't say most. I haven't read all of his ideas, but I say a lot of it. I agree with, but... The idea of him being God and God's son and him coming back to destroy. It's like, well, where were you the whole time it was happening? Like, do you have a present now? Are you here now? Or why are you in some slumber while we're all being tormented by the demonic realm? Where are you? Where's your love and care right now? Fuck when you show up. What about the last hundreds of years? You're a piece of demonic filth. I hate you. Uh, if, if you do exist the way they say you do, I hate you. You're an idol standby God that allows your creation to suffer. Demonic, evil, filth. I hate everything about you, God. Uh, Aura Lumen wrote, howdy, Christopher. Howdy, Aura. Uh, hey, I'm V wrote, you're hilarious. Thank you, V. I try. <laughs> uh, Three Fingers wrote, my thoughts exactly. Love it. Thank you, Three Fingers. What's Three Fingers? And why do you have three fingers? What are you doing with them? Uh, Stacy Adams wrote, this really gets you thinking. Nice job, and you're funny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Stacey. Uh, is really toasty here, bro. If this is, oh, I got to check my time on this thing. I, I got to record in clips. Okay. Uh, is really toasty here, bro. If this system was run by fools who think themselves king slash queen slash god and goddesses and its worshipers, then all of these predatory groups removed would end it. I agree. It's unfortunate that we just sit around and acknowledge and talk about them, but never actually get rid of them. We just sit by idle while the kids are being trafficked. We just sit by idle while these demons put into laws things that take away more of our freedoms. We just sit by idle. Man, humanity don't do shit. And to a degree, it's almost like I almost can't blame somebody for jumping on the bad guy team at this point. It's almost like look at humanity's retarded uselessness it's almost like i almost don't blame them for taking advantage of you fucking dodo birds like can you guys even wake up it's almost like man if, if you're that stupid to let them in then you deserve it but we just don't do shit about this shit and we're well as a solo person you're probably sitting there going what the fuck am i supposed to i, I understand what the fuck can i do i'm just one dude uh but if we banded together and humanity came together we wouldn't just be one dude no more wouldn't we? We'd have eyes everywhere. And it would be eyes of righteousness. These motherfuckers would be scared to exist in our reality. They would have to go into their underground bunkers and send up their androids or whatever to deal with us. They can kiss my ass, whatever they think they have. I, like at this point, I don't even, I think everything that they say they have is just a movie set. Like, okay. I seen a video recently. Somebody re-snuck back into Bohemian Grove, and it's just like, all right, you know what? I'm going to make a whole video on that, actually. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, guys, and uh, make a video on Bohemian Grove, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.